It is a little-known piece of history, a side story on how a young nation halfway around the world saved thousands of lives deemed lost during the dark days of the Holocaust in Nazi Germany. It is for this reason that it is a story worth telling, a story that also deserves a film like Schindler's List. When it became clear that the number of Jews saved was similar to the number of Jews saved in Schindler's List that had already come out as a film, uh, the family felt that this rescue effort deserved a film as well. Titled Rescue in the Philippines, Refuge from the Holocaust, the one-hour documentary tells the story of how a family of tobacco makers, former President Manuel Quezon, U.S. High Commissioner to the Philippines Paul McNutt, and then Army Colonel Dwight Eisenhower, put their neck on the line to bring Jewish refugees to the Philippines. While many countries closed their doors on Jews who were persecuted by the Nazis, the Philippines became one of the few places they were able to escape to. At a time when almost every other nation in the world was turning away people who were in dire need. They opened up their arms. They took a step forward. They embraced people from halfway around the world. And the Filipino people and their president were nothing short of heroic in doing it. The film was created using archival material and interviews of the survivors and descendants of those involved in the rescue. It was first screened in the United States last year and has since been shown 2,000 times on American television. That Kazan was willing to uh, accept the Jews when so many other countries did not, and the Freeders were willing to sacrifice some of the business interests to take time and, and give money to this effort. The story of moral courage, religious tolerance, and the benefits of being a concerned citizen. And that message is, relevant, is as relevant today is the message of moral courage and the example of President Quezon, the Frieda brothers, Eisenhower, McNutt, that where they got together and instead of being apathetic and turning away and not doing anything, they decided to take action and do the right thing. And we feel very much that the Philippines have much, much to be proud of here. And it's something that hopefully will inspire Filipinos and people around the world to act in a positive way.